welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Sloan. I'm the public programmer here at the Port Coburn Historical and Marine Museum. And I'm here at the Shirk Log Cabin today to teach you how to make some dried fruit garlands for your holiday decorations. Here's what you'll need. Three to four oranges, cranberries, plain popcorn, fishing wire or twine, a needle, scissors, and a dehydrator or an oven. Your first step will be to dehydrate your oranges and cranberries. This can take a couple days, so make sure you give yourself enough time. You're going to cut your oranges into thin slices, place in the dehydrator or oven so they're spaced out, not overlapping. If you're using a dehydrator, you'll set the temperature to 135 degrees and leave them for about six hours. For an oven, Set your temperature to 175 degrees or the lowest temperature your oven will go and turn on the convection if your oven has that option. Place a wire rack on a baking sheet or line a baking sheet with parchment paper and place your oranges on the rack or sheet spaced out and not overlapping. Bake the orange slices for three to four hours, flipping them every 30 minutes. To allow for humidity to escape, you can leave your door slightly open while you're baking the oranges. Do the same thing for your cranberries, but start off by boiling them in a pot of water before adding them to your dehydrator. This will help speed up the dehydrating process. Lastly, pop your popcorn with some oil in a pot. Your popcorn should be plain and unseasoned. Once your fruit is dried, we can start assembling our garland. Thread your needle through your twine or string and start threading the dried fruit and popcorn onto your string. You can do whatever pattern you want, it's totally up to you. You may break a few pieces of popcorn during the creation of your garland, but not to worry. This process can be a little tedious and time consuming, but by the end you'll have a beautiful dried fruit garland that you can use to decorate your house for the holidays. Thank you for joining me today for another Heritage Holiday Craft. Make sure to keep an eye on this channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you.